Hey guys, another episode of Chop and Roll here. Uh, this will be our second one. Doing a timing chain cover and timing chain removal and replacement on a Toyota 22RE. Uh, basically, it's already got a new chain and stuff in it. I'm just pulling it apart, put it back together, show you guys some quick tricks and what you do and don't have to do to actually get it off and replace it. Uh, Let's go. All right, first thing here is uh, the harmonic balancer here. Uh, notice how easy that was to take off. Definitely not to torch spec uh, when I put it off my hands earlier. Slide this dude off of here. Nice. Go up here to our cam bolt. It's probably decently snug. Yeah. Pull it out. And then there's another bolt right here that comes in from the top. It should be a 12 millimeter if it is the factory bolt. It's nice and long. Leave it nice and loose. Now we've got a 12 millimeter on our water pump. This is the only one that actually has to come out of the water pump because uh, the rest of them only go into the timing chain cover. So if you're wanting to save a gasket or whatever, you've already got a new water pump. Uh, the Toyota manual recommends that you replace the water pump at the same time as the timing chain. So if you want to do that, you can. It's pretty simple, but uh, we're not going to do that today. I'm about to change angles and then I'll take the rest of the timing chain cover bolts and oil pump off. Pull out all the 12s. Nice one. Uh, this is LCE hardware that I bought. Uh, LCE is pretty nice for parts for this. Um, they got every little thing you need. I got a cam bolt for like $7 because I lost mine uh, out of my other truck. Sponsor! Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But uh, the only two bolts you need to take out of the oil pump are this one and this one. Unless you're replacing it also. Because uh, these are the ones that go through to the block. I'm going to swap it to 14 here. Right. Yes. But uh, I think a timing chain cover bolt kit was like $25. Uh, so if you don't, you know, have all your bolts, it's nice to just buy new ones. And they're all the factory size instead of being like standard or whatever. From your local hardware store and this to 12 awesome it's going to take a little 14 to go. All right, sweet. And move on to the chain here. All these up in here are twelves as well.
when you replace your timing chain, it is suggested that you replace your sliders. Uh, I believe it's Evergreen or some company like that sells metal ones. Uh, that's what I've got in my other truck. They're freaking nice. And they keep the chain pretty snug and they've got like a uh, like a rubber or plastic uh, like face on them where the chain meets it. Uh, I think it was like like 40 bucks for the entire uh, gear and chain set with the sliders. I haven't had any problems out of it. All right, I'll slide this dude off of here. Then uh, we're gonna pull your cam bolt out all the way here, along with the uh, distributor gear. Just gonna kind of rock this dude back and forth. Can you see that? Drop it down. Slide your chain off your gear. Bear with me. I'm new to being a camera guy. Uh, these are well lubed, that's why they came off so nice. And there's your complete timing chain disassembly there. Um, once you get all that stuff off, uh, unless it's like, you know, <laughs> broken, <laughs> which was how the first one of these I had to do was it literally broke the chain into three pieces and I had to replace basically everything inside of it inside the tiny chain cover but uh if you pop this uh woodruff key out on. okay if it's fairly new it should come out pretty decently uh if it does not come out easily i suggest just getting a new key that was great just went down my oil pan We'll all right i've retrieved the woodruff key uh luckily it fell like right down into the oil pan like sitting like right there so i just kind of reached in and grabbed it like five seconds after we ended the video uh so we're gonna go ahead and continue with what we were doing uh don't drop your woodruff key so we'll put this bottom gear on our crankshaft push it all the way back there we go uh we've got our Top gear lined up with your timing mark and your black chain link. Drop it down into this. You have to kind of hold it at a funky angle to get it over this crankshaft. Oop, like yo. We'll uh, line up our bottom timing mark with the other link. It should be directly on the bottom from the top one. And then uh, as you get this on here, just hold it kind of tight, spin it, make sure that your chain don't skip a link, get it to line up with your crankshaft, or not your crankshaft, your camshaft, my bad, and uh, pop it on like yo. And then, uh, thank you. <laughs> Did you like that? That's funny. Just put your cam bolt in. Make sure I obstruct this as much as I can for you. It likes to not work sometimes. Snug it. Grab our tensioner up. Push this dude in.
now. I'm getting a phone call. Gonna have to wait. I mean, you can, you know, we can always like cut the video. You're just honey, whatever. <laughs> She's like, I need a ride. <laughs> Probably. Anyway. All right. Now that uh, your tensioner's on, throw your sliders up in here. The uh, the edge has got this little dude right here on it. it goes up top. That's, is that, yeah, that's the one. You are welcome. Am I? Yes. Now, uh, make sure you get this bolt in up here. You can pull this can uh, bolt out and pop this dude off. This will stay on there because it's got tension on it. And you push your bolt down in there, you know, snug it up real nice. Uh, put some RTV over the head so that oil doesn't go down in your threads and all that. And uh, potentially blow your head gasket. And you slide your cam bolt back in. And uh, when you put your distributor in, when this is at top dead center, I'm pretty sure. Let me see. Yeah. Yeah, like right where it is right now is pretty dang close. So this goes almost straight up, slightly to the right. Like I think it's a tooth to the right. When you put your distributor in, you want it facing at 12 o'clock. And then when you slide it in, it'll knock over where it's supposed to be. You should at least hit and fire, and then you can time it from there. Cool.